Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I typically do, but I thought it would be kind of fun. I've seen a few of my favorite YouTubers here doing videos like this. Jessica Braun is one of them. And so I figured I would hop on the bandwagon and share with you guys 10 things that I no longer buy. This is not going to be makeup focused. If you would like to see a makeup beauty, beauty item type thing focused video all about 10 things I don't buy anymore, let me know. I started making that list, but I was having a really hard time finishing it. I will also say I am by no means a minimalist like at all. I don't think I will ever be a minimalist. There's a part of me that always wants to like throw all my stuff away and like declutter and go live in an RV for the rest of my life, but like, I don't know if I could actually do that, but there are certain things, especially throughout my early adulthood, that I realized I just don't need. Okay, number one is dish rags. So growing up, my mom always had like a dish washcloth or dish rag that she washed dishes with. When I finally got my own place to live in my early 20s and now, you know, in my 30s, I realized I hate dish rags. I feel like they start to stink really quickly and I just don't like them. I know that they're definitely, you know, they're washable and all of that stuff, but I prefer dish sponges, which is probably the less eco-friendly version to do your dishes or way to do your dishes, but it's just what works for me. I like the fact that I could easily throw it away if it starts to get mildewy or stinky and get a new one. The second one I have seen a lot of people mention in their videos like this, and that is magazines. I feel like sadly magazines are just kind of like a dying thing. It's going to be something of the past, you know, and give it 10 or 20 more years and people are going to be like, magazines? What's that? I do still notice them at the registers, like when I'm checking out at the grocery store, Target, things like that. And occasionally I'll pick one up and kind of thumb through it, especially like the, you know, celebrity trash magazines. Occasionally an article will like pique my attention, but I feel like with the era of social media, digital media, things like that, print media just isn't it's, I think it's, it's just a thing of the past, sadly. The third one is dog clothes. <laughs> so my dog, she's 12 years old now, and then I have another dog, she's 10 years old, or is she nine? I always forget. But when I first got my poor little baby girl, I say poor because I used to dress her up in clothes all the time. I thought it was so cool to put her in little shirts. I even had little socks for her. I had a bikini for her. I had hats for her. She hates clothes, you guys. She hates them. She doesn't like them. Anytime I put her in a sweater or anything like that, she wiggles around and finds a way to get it off of her. But I kept trying for years and years and years and years. And finally, I just decided, you know what? She doesn't like clothes. She's a dog. She doesn't need clothes. I'm gonna stop wasting my money. So I don't buy her clothes anymore um, We do have like a puffer jacket that doubles as a vest for her leash um, That she wears in like the dead of winter when it's freezing cold outside and we're taking her for a walk Both dogs I say her but I'm meeting both of them, but otherwise I don't waste my money on dog clothes anymore Okay, number four is random kitchen gadgets Again, when I got my first apartment and I started living on my own, I found it necessary to purchase every random niche kitchen gadget out there. I would go to kitchen stores, I would receive them as gifts, I had a bunch of random things like a strawberry cutter, an egg cutter, um, apple core peel, I mean all these random things where in theory they seem really cool, right? It seems really cool to have some sort of slicing device for every single possible thing you're gonna eat. But in reality, it's just a lot of clutter, and if I'm gonna cut up a strawberry, I'm likely just gonna pull a knife out of my knife block and cut the strawberry. Or if I'm gonna cut up a hard boiled egg, I'm likely just going to, you know, grab the same knife probably <laughs> and cut up a boiled egg, you know. I'm by no means a chef or a cook or anything like that, a cook extraordinaire. So there really isn't a need for me to have all of these niche kitchen gadgets that just create clutter to me. Number five is something that I've heard a couple of people mention on their lists on their lists, <laughs> and that is various cleaning products. I think, again, when you first move into your first place by yourself or with roommates, you're kind of getting your groove and figuring out how you wanna live, what kind of items you're gonna use daily, and just what makes sense for you and your lifestyle and the way that you live and the way that you clean and cook and things like that. So I remember purchasing a ton of various like cleaning supplies. So it was like Windex and then Windex multi-surface and then Windex with this scent and then you got your Clorox and you got your bleach, then you got your Lysol, then you got your Lysol wipes. And then like bathroom stuff, you got the foam, you got the toilet, you know, you have all these things that you can end up buying a ton of. 
And in reality, when I actually clean, I really just use two things. I use Windex and Clorox wipes. <laughs> I guess I use toilet bowl cleaner too. So, but any variance outside of that is usually very unlikely. I think nowadays with COVID and being more aware of viruses, I do bust out the Lysol spray a lot more and I'll spray certain things, but I don't really consider that cleaning. I consider that more of like disinfecting. Um, but there really isn't a need for me to have all of these various cleaning things. I just don't use them. They end up sitting in my closet and they go bad. Number six is fun flavored alcohol. So I am somebody who gets sucked in by fun flavored anything. So whether that be like Pop-Tarts, cereal, coffee, coffee creamers, anything that's like a seasonal or fun scent, I'm like, ooh, I gotta try that. And so naturally when I turned 21, that carried into alcohol and things like vodka. That's immediately what comes to my mind or beers, like seasonally flavored beers and things like that. And don't get me wrong, I do still enjoy the occasional seasonal flavored beer, but I kind of know now to just kind of steer clear of either certain flavors, certain scents, pumpkin spice immediately comes to my mind. I've learned that I don't like pumpkin spice, but for the longest time, especially this time of year, I was like, ooh, pumpkin spice, I'm gonna buy everything pumpkin spice flavored. And I just, I slowly realized I don't like that flavor. <laughs> Alcohol specifically, I've learned, I'm not really a drinker really at all. I kind of stick to wine for the most part. Um, I'll have a beer here and there, maybe a margarita here and there, but mostly I just like my red wine. And so I know, I know as tempted as I am, when I see the fun seasonal flavors, I know I just, I just don't buy them. Just stay away. The bottle will sit in my bar for years. Number seven is costume jewelry. So I think again, my early 20s when I was experimenting with what kind of style I wanted and what kind of outfit choices I wanted and going out and going to clubs and bars and things like that with my friends, I had a lot of costume jewelry. And I think at that time of life or that season, like I think it was like 2000, how old, like 2011-ish is when the big like statement necklaces were huge. In every store, Target, online shops, um, Charming Charlie had those big gaudy, let's be honest, gaudy statement pieces. So I felt like I had to have a bunch of those statement pieces. And then again, as I got older and I realized my taste in clothing and style and things like that, I just don't wear stuff like that. In fact, even when those were a style, I really only wore them once or twice and then they would just sit there and get all gross and then I'd end up throwing them out. So I know what I like. Typically on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll wear some sort of dainty earrings, dainty necklace, and my wedding, my wedding um, band and engagement ring. Okay, number eight is floss. Now stay with me. I know you're like, ew, you don't floss your teeth. <laughs> no, let me tell you what I use. A water pick, you guys. Water picks are game changers. I remember uh, one of my dentists or dental hygienists recommended a water pick a few years back and I was like, that sounds weird. And I remember kind of pricing them out and they were like really expensive at that point. And then as I got a little bit older and I, you know, I hate flossing. Who likes flossing? Nobody likes flossing. Sticking that string in your teeth, like it just sucks, right? It hurts sometimes. My gums bleed and yada, yada, yada. So I remember it was, I think it was maybe around when I got married, so that was like two years ago, I bought my first water pick. It is a game changer, you guys. You never need to floss ever again. It's basically a really high speed jet stream of water that shoots through and you kind of put it like on every teeth like that. It's faster than it sounds. And it is amazing the amount of like gunk that you see falling out of your mouth. If you have braces or I have like a, a permanent retainer that is on my bottom teeth on the bottom, uh, inside of my bottom teeth. For things like that, it is so nice because you don't have to like thread through the retainer or thread through your braces or things like that. So yeah, I never have to floss my teeth anymore. I use a water pick. Okay, number nine is tumblers with straws. And this one, I feel like I can't confidently say I will never purchase ever again. I'm one of those people that loves coffee mugs and tumblers. I just, I just love them. But I realized the past few times I purchased them, I don't use them. They sit in my cabinet and I never use them ever again. And now with me being a stay at home mom and not in the office at work, that's where I typically used things like that was at work. So now that I'm at home, I'm not really gonna go in my cabinet, grab a tumbler and a straw to drink water. I'm probably just gonna get a cup of water, like a, you know, <laughs> a water cup or something like that. So, but anytime I walk by Starbucks, I have to tell you guys, I am like, 
sucked into those and I want to buy all of the seasonal ones, the, the Valentine's Day one, the pink ones, ooh, they always get me. But now my vice is coffee mugs. So that's another thing. <laughs> okay, number 10 is scented laundry beads. So these are something that for a good chunk of my early 20s, I was purchasing like crazy. And I think this is when they first came out. So it was kind of a new thing. So what I like to use when I do my laundry is a laundry detergent and a fabric softener. There's many other things that you can purchase. For a while there, I tried dryer sheets and then the scented laundry beads. And don't get me wrong, the scented laundry beads do make your laundry smell really good, especially when you mix them with your fabric softener. So if you have like a good scented this and this and this and all three together, as long as the scents correlate, like you can have some good smelling laundry. But in the end, the scent fades. It's just an extra step in your laundry routine. It's an extra expense that you have to buy every few weeks or so. They run out really fast and you are adding a chemical to your clothing, which, you know, there's thoughts on that. But that is something that I do no longer buy. I don't think I'll ever purchase again. And I guess I can add dryer sheets to that as well. All right, guys. Well, those are the 10 things that I could think of, at least right now, that I no longer purchase. This video was so fun to film and come up with ideas for. So if you guys would like to see this again or that makeup related one, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if there's something that I didn't mention that you no longer purchase. I'm just curious, you know, as everyone's kind of getting into this minimalist stage of their life, I, I go through waves. You know, sometimes I'm like, buy everything, and other times I'm like, declutter everything. So, I don't know, just let me know, you know, in the comment section down below. But I hope that you guys enjoyed watching as much as I filmed. I enjoyed filming, and I'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.